nhà trồng trái trồng nẹt gì cứ tới nơi trà nó này giờ lú y lên đồ nó tiền nên gỗ y xong ốp phan nên gỗ y của nhà bỏ đi vào sau sự nó nó cũng cho bé một xe cho lú chế cần tới khu địa hậu y khan này nhà đó ông đồng sinh phò lỡ cô bỏ tao là địa chỉ mi tu mi nhiều cần tới lỡ cô chống nó dùng tao thiệt là món lỡ lú school nó khó có lo cha khó nón gì rồi giờ thì nó nói học hàng rồi ốp này cũng cho bé một xe địa chỉ trồng đi chả thì chỉ ta nó tạo cái nó tụ transport nó cứ yếu tao lo bé kiếm rồi lú học phía thì tụ đào tới yếu tao lo bé kiếm rồi lú học phía thì lỡ yếu món lú chế cần tới nó khó có lo cha khó cứu thế khó nón giờ trồng đi chả địa nhà trường tôi nói về đào tạo trai lì, tôi phân tích nhiều tôi là lớp học kinh doanh khác mình nó, nó nói về sự tôi là nó vì được học để bây giờ ở học khi cho lúc chỉ cần đào này, xong nó về bây giờ và một lúc chỉ cần đào là khó có lo đồ thì à, bây giờ chùa có hông đào đồ, bây giờ khi mua cho pre k là giờ vấn đề khi đến gần thì à, high school tôi xong tận đây nó, giờ đến đào học bé lúc học phía giờ vì được học thì và bây giờ để chỉ thế cho mình nó hiện là cứ chống hậu nó và bây cũng mua mình nhỏ muốn chống đua lười nhà năng thì chỉ cũng mua lười nhà năng thiếu. giờ thì ta bây xa cả bây khi bây lúc học sinh nó cứ lo lo từ một tuổi đến đây tới lớn thì chỉ sợ nữa. ở giờ thì ta nên từ từ sắp bắt đầu đua hút đua quá. cô ấy đang tuổi trai lì cô lo đó lúc chỉ cần nó vì được học bây giờ và và cả tới lúc học sinh còn giờ ấy lúc medical học sinh nó nữa thì cô ấy cô lúc học phía mà giống ba cả cháu mình nhỏ. cái ta học sinh bây giờ mua college là sang lấy là từ test mua đồ medical field. ở giờ thì nó nên từ từ mua cháu mình nhỏ giờ ตัวของจวดตอนเด็กน้อยสายจะตัวนั่นแหละหูสุดต้องโดนไปเอ้ไปมาลีนันได้ถ่ายเถอะเอ้ยองเชื่อใจจีเนดีนั่นนะยังจองแต่น้องกูยังไม่จีบตัวเอ่อเท่าจื้อเลยตัว executive director จนน่ะรู้จักกันตัว Hope Community Academy ยังจองน่ะ East Side Saint Paul อ่าลูซังมินนิโซตานู่นน้อยนู่นจองไปตัวโอ้ยข้อ ground breaking ceremony จะไปรู้จักกันตัวยังวิ่งเหตุเปย์ยศวิลุจิตอนจีโตก็เปย์จะกันนั้นจะล็อกชาตัดชินอาเทียลุชีย์เปย์จะยศวิลุจิยาเจ้าเจ้าพาสแควร์ฟีย้อนหลังจะด้วยในปอนกุยชาเนาะเปย์ยศวิลตันทอคนนั้นจะยาเจ้าเจ้าพาสแควร์ฟีอยู่มัวเปย์ซันจะลุชีย์เชียเนาะเปย์ยามัวเปย์ลุเมนออฟฟิศ thế à, em mới cho, em cho cha cần gì cho 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 tuấn thầy cần tới cho middle school, thế high school, bây giờ mới lu à high school gym, thế à, em cha cho bây giờ mong language, thế culture center, em mới lu media center, chia là em lu library chia thế, về à, tận thọ cho nó, nhớ cho cha nó dùng cái đó lu chỉ cần tới chia lên này bỏ nó, giờ vì đi cha bây thì giờ chỗ lu chỉ chia khi rồi bây giờ nhiệt sĩ bảo hệ tiền nào, bây lúc chỉ cần đào tạo sinh nào, bây khen đào cho cho mình nhỏ cỡ tí, khen người gần chân đua tí, dễ xử. Đó là tàu nên tàu lúc xong bây giờ nhiệt sĩ thấy cho mình nhỏ, cô họ thọ cỡ bé à gì pre k, thế lúc high school, ấy cỡ lấy cho mình nhỏ là giờ tí chế năng này, nhỏ hơn tí lúc chỉ cần đào sư. Vậy xong là bây mua mong bây thì chạy tới khoa nhi à, nâng cỡ bé lớn là chùa lúc chỉ nào thì à. bây giờ biết sửa sai, giờ break ground sửa sai nó, à, giờ bây vài tiền nó học giờ program bây kia rồi bây giờ mình tự mình nhớ cho cái cần đâu cần đâu nữa, giờ ba là một trong những tổn thương, bây giờ giờ anh thôi cho medical professional thả, bây giờ bây giờ mong medical professional doctor đó nữa, cái cái là tôi ba cũng tính cho bây, cái bây giờ ba cái học program, tôi bây giờ nhớ à, giao một cho cả 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 cho medical field đi à, nghe thấy? ไอ้ก่อนมูโต้คาร์ลิชไฮสคูลนั่นแหละแล้วมวยจะเกิดโตแต่คนนี้ยังไอ้คอร์ฮอปเพียไปเยอะเฉยยังบ้านจีเราไปรู้จักกันตอนเราอยากตอนเต้เที่ยงไฮสันเนี่ยจะมีตัวมีหนูอ่ะเขาไปรู้จักกันตอนนั้นไปจ่ายจะทัวร์เล่นทัวร์ตู่จีไฮมงจีไฮมิกาเดอร์จะมีอยู่คิดว่ามันจะจะมีไปยังใจทัวร์ไฮนั่งที่ชีแต่ไปยังคิดว่าเขาจงใจต่อในเชดเดอร์ยังให้เตือนได้เขาโมลุนงจะเนี่ยไปรู้จักกันตอนนั้นแหละ thọ hồ tua là cái tuân chỉ biết tập chơi cần đâu nó thì cũng như bảo thì nó à chơi giờ biết chơi nhiều chuyện nhá, tập vào tập chơi nên như bảo thì biết khó ăn chơi chơi nữa, tập biết lúc chơi cần đâu tập chơi nó nè, đấy chỉ khi đó nên bảo thì nó biết giờ mua lú à lú gym tập chơi nó nè, giờ lú middle school size gym, biết giờ mua sang đó chung, chỉ biết mà đi chơi lú à chơi chia nó trong đó thì biết chơi giờ giờ à giờ khó, biết lúc parking là khó ăn nữa, biết chơi giờ mua 
ก็นู่นโนฮอบแคนามีนโทตลังจูจูโตเตยาขอคือโอโจเปมุเกจาซาตะเตยาโยปังเตาเปโตเปเตยาวลูเปเตเกงกือเปเตปอเพ่งฮ
However, today marks another uh, uh, milestone for HOPE in that we are expanding and we will be including in our academic program pre-K and a high school program. And so we're very excited. And so with that, that is why we're here today to break grounds as we expand our academic programs. We definitely need a bigger space to host all our programs. There are many folks who made this uh, project possible. To be part of this special groundbreaking event for the expansion of this wonderful public charter school, Hope Community Academy, a true east side neighborhood school. It stands at the intersection of Payne and Minnehaha, surrounded by so many east side partners that represent our community's greatest strengths. The Payne Phelan Community Council and the Railroad Island Neighborhood Group. Don Lohr is represent, represents those groups on the Hope Board as a trusted and beloved neighbor. The Sweet Hollow Neighborhood Organization and Sweet Hollow Neighbors, I see we have Kristen Murph Dawkins here, a great supporter of this effort. Sweet Hollow with its rich immigrant history and the beautiful Sweet Hollow Park lovingly cared for by the Friends of Sweet Hollow and the Lower Phelan Creek Project. Across the street we have the new Caribou Grocery and Deli, winner of St. Paul's St. Paul Business Award for its excellence as a new business and as importantly for the work it does mentoring neighborhood youth and for the second year in a row hosting Thanksgiving dinner for those in need. And on another corner, our St. Paul Police East team, which cares about our community as much as we care about each other. Hope Community Academy is a full partner in enriching and supporting our neighborhood. It provides space for our community meetings, parking for community events, it hosts annually the Railroad Island Halloween Trunk or Treat event. It opens its doors annually to host the Art and the Sweet Hollow event when weather requires an indoor location. And it brings together its students and families to join with all of us in building a stronger, better, safer, and more welcoming east side. I will acknowledge, because we all know this was really challenging to get here, that the city didn't exactly make this an easy process. And we apologize for that. But it was a, this wonderful group of neighbors and the school family that joined together to talk it through, support each other, and make it happen. I want to recognize and thank Kubang and his team at JB Bang and all of the other contractors for their leadership in the city process. And especially, I want to recognize and thank Hope Executive Director, Mai Chi Bu, who may be petite in size, but is an absolute powerhouse in representing her students, families, faculty, staff, and board in making this project a reality. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm Mai Chong Zhang, legislative aide to Council Member Dai Chao. Um, I'm very happy and honored to represent um, his office today. Um, he had a, a scheduling conflict in the few years, but he wanted to make sure that we were a part of this uh, historic day because today marks the day where the dreams of Hope uh, Community Academies, uh, Hope, uh, Hope Academies, uh, become reality and where we are all a part of that dream. He was proud to support the $23 million in Conduit Revenue Bonds for this project because he highly values a culturally relevant education and knows that one will benefit and that the ones who will benefit most are the students. And I know that personally myself on how important a culturally relevant education is. Having grown up in Minnesota here, it wasn't even until college that I started digging through the textbooks and also realizing and affirming the stories that I've heard from my parents. 
about the war that um, forced them to flee and come here. And when I learned about those, you know, it brought me a great sadness and heartbreak about what they had to endure and the pain. But then they also helped me shed some of the shame that I had internalized about my identity as a Hmong American whose parents had broken English and depended on welfare and social programs to survive here. This is why I strongly believe that when we know where we come from and who we are, we will go and know where to go. This is how leaders arise in our communities. And this is why having a strong foundation will help that. Will help them dream and to be courageous enough to try and fail and then to try again. Because we know that trying is the option. Because we know that we are worthy of a better life. For example, just yesterday, after 243 years, who would have imagined that we would have inaugurated the first woman, first black woman to be vice president of our country? I'm very glad that everybody come together to celebrate the uh, groundbreaking uh, for the expansion of hope. And thank you, uh, Dr. Lee, and thank you, Mikey, and the board member, the community, and Councilwoman Jane Prince and the City Council in the city, even though you did mention that it's been difficult, but um, it has been approved, so that is what matters. And Councilman Jane Prince and uh, uh, Tong from the office of Councilman Dai Tao are we speak the core of this project. So I'm just adding on some uh, outside the the meat of the message, and I'm just very honored to be here for this groundbreaking uh, ceremony. Um, I have seen Hope Academy grow from a, a smaller size, from, from a smaller um, venue to where it is now, from 20, uh, from the year 2000 to this moment. And not just that, there are focusing on the student, but they're also focusing on engaging the community. 22 years ago, a group of Hmong American parents went to Highland Park Junior High School, and they said, we understand that the school has received $150,000 from state legislators um, to help more students succeed, particularly students who don't speak English in their home. And the principal said, yes, that's true. And we want, and we're very happy that you, a delegation of 20 Hmong American parents, are here. Most of them did not speak English as a first language, so they spoke with a translator. And there was a meeting to talk about how to spend $150,000. The parents said, well, about a third of the students at Highland Junior High School, it's about 50, I'm sorry, about a third of the students, more than 1,000, are Hmong American, but there isn't a single person in this school who's an adult who speaks mom as we understand it. Is that right? And the principal said, well, that's true. And so the parents said, well, if you've got $150,000, then a third of that would be 50, but we're not going to ask you for 50,000. We're going to ask for about 33. We want to ask for two things, two things. We're going to ask for a, um, a person to be in the office who would be paid about $20,000 a year. And that person would be bilingual, and, and that person's first language would be Hmong. She also, or he would also be able to speak English. But we want somebody in the office, in the school, who can speak our language. So when we call and have questions, there's somebody who can speak our language. And then second, that's, that's 22,000. We want to ask for 5,000 so that we can have after school classes because we as parents want to learn English because we understand exactly what your distinguished senator, who I really do want to respect and acknowledge, your distinguished senator has been a strong supporter of public school options for families. And I, that's not an easy thing to do. It's a courageous man here. We need to acknowledge and say thank you. So thank you very much, Senator. Anyway, so they asked for $22,000 plus five, $27,000. The principal said, well, that's nice of you to come. We well, really are glad that you're here. We want to have parent participation, but teachers and I have already decided how to spend the money. So we're going to say pass on that. But we appreciate you coming to the meeting. Now, I was sitting next to the principal because our daughter was also attending the school, and I turned to him and I said, 
these parents have turned out, they've been good faith, they've got a good idea, really, really want to encourage you to do this. He said, now we've already decided how to spend the money. This came about because parents and students and courageous legislators and courageous city council members said, what you want matters. What you as family members want matters. What you as educators think makes sense matters. This is not just a building. This is an idea that what you as parents and community members and students want, so beautifully expressed by the State Center, that you want young people to learn strong academic skills. Absolutely. You also want youngsters to know who they are and who they can be. So I'll just tell you one more thing about who people can be. How many of you heard the magnificent poem that the 22-year-old young woman heard, did yesterday? Many of you. Her mother's a charter public school teacher in California, folks. Her mother's a charter public school teacher. From wonderful organizations like this, from people in this parking lot, in this school, wonderful things have come wonderful things will come. So congratulations to you, to the city council members, to the state legislators, to the students, to the parents, the staff, the faculty. You are doing wonderful things. People are paying attention. Congratulations. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Great, thank you. 一种的几个人家可能的活宝大了呢要考虑我不能要到的后一开了面要到后一直跟到要到后等生跑了做几个人了了到底呢要等你讲我呢我自己呢等后我呢我呢我呢我呢我呢我呢我呢我呢我呢